good day we are looking at the Rattan 750 watt folding fat tire e-bike there are two different versions there's the LM 750 which I have it's the standard folding frame and the LF 750 which has a step through frame the LM 750 comes in three different colors which include green the color of my bike gray more of a silver color and black they also make the step through version in three different colors. Again, that's called the LF750. And that comes in red, purple, or black. I'm just wondering where the blue is. Anyways, both models feature a folding frame, obviously. 750 watt nominal motor with an IPAS technology, which we'll get to later. The 48 volt 13 amp hour battery is removable and that's called a silverfish battery. The front suspension forks are non-adjustable, but they ride very smooth. A suspension seat post is included. It also comes with a rear rack with an integrated seat. CFT BFT 20 by four puncture resistant tires, Tetro MD M280 brake calipers, Tetro 180 millimeter front and 160 millimeter rear disc brakes, the Shimano Acer derailleur, the Shimano seven speed shifter, a 52 tooth crank, and a 14 to 28 seven speed freewheel. It does come with an integrated headlight and taillight, and the taillight is actually a brake light as well. And the pedals fold in so you can easily fold your bike, fold your pedals, and store it away. After taking it for my first ride, my initial impressions are that it's very well made. With the integrated suspension, the ride is smooth. It came packaged very well with zero damage to the bike. It included tools, a full color manual, and was pretty much fully assembled in the box. All you had to do is add the seat and the handlebars and you were on your way. If you're interested in seeing more about this bike, please leave a comment down below and let me know what you're interested in seeing. If this video gets 50 likes, I will make a throttle only test. And I really want to test that IPAS feature because it looks like it's pretty cool. Apparently it's like regenerative braking, so we'll have to test out and see what it does. So with all the positives, there are a few things that I don't like about this bike. A couple things that I would suggest for Rattan to include on the bike in the future is a derailleur guard and a chain guard. Both of those are on almost every other bike that I have and those are good safety features to have on a bike. Now it comes with all kinds of other stuff. It's very well put together and the cabling and the structure of everything looks great. So most other fat tire bikes come with those two things and that's the only two things I could say is a drawback. Now I was only able to reach a top speed of 22 miles per hour. So we're gonna have to tweak some of the settings and see if you can get any more out of it. With the IPAS system, you're supposed to be able to get more mileage out of the batteries, so we'll have to also test that at a later date. If it all works, this is going to be a really cool bike to ride. I've seen some YouTube videos that I'm a little skeptical about, so we'll have to do our own testing. So we'll do some real world testing out in the field at a later date. So all in all, this bike rocks. I love the colors available. This one reminds me of an old army plane or a tank, and I'm going to do a lot of stuff to it, so stay tuned. And if you haven't already, please subscribe.